Hey, hey, Bill. Um, what similarities, if any, are there between journalism as a profession and calling and being religious? Um, I felt, for me, the two were intertwined. Um, you know, I thought God's calling for me was was uh, to be a religion writer. Um, I, I'm not sure for uh, for uh, people that aren't aren't religious that there's a, I mean there's a calling to be a journalist, but I'm not sure. Um, that I, I don't think it's much of an intersection, I guess. Mm-hmm. But people do feel called to journalism, uh, though they wouldn't. They're not by God. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, I, I think the sense that it's a holy calling, and that you know, it's a it's a a clique of priests. Um. Yeah. I guess. I guess, you know. I guess so. Um. I guess that's why that we don't mind the low pay and uh, the terrible hours, and uh, I think that uh, you know, while some people, you know, I guess journalists, um, you know, they want to. Um, it's a cliche, but uh, you know, comfort the afflicted, inflict the comfortable, and and um, and probably religions, you know, similar to that. And there's also the the zealousness for truth. Yeah, you know, I, I guess I'm not, you know, I I'm a little bit um, old fashioned. That I think that's kind of dying out. Um, I I think in the younger generation of journalists, it's not so much a calling, it's a job, and there's, there's, I, you know, I, I don't see, and it might be just because I'm, I'm getting old, and so, you know, everybody thinks the younger generation is not as passionate, but I don't see that same passion among many of the younger reporters that, I, that I've worked with. When you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, you know, I wanted to be a, um, professional surfer or um i um or some sort of um politician um i stumbled on journalism quite by accident um, in my senior year of college and i i went to work for the student newspaper and the minute i walked in the newsroom i just fell in love with it hmm. how long did you spend at the los angeles times i was there in one capacity or another for 17 years i edited there local papers um, and ran them for, oh, um, about, oh, God, I don't know, like eight, eight, nine years, and then I worked at the Times as a, um, as a religion writer and then um, an editor for a couple years after that. What did you love and hate about your time at the Los Angeles Times proper, the, the last eight or nine years when you were um, a reporter and editor? Well, I, you know, I, I do, it was always my dream once I got into journalism to work for the LA Times. I absolutely adored uh, 99% of it. Uh, my heart beat faster every time I went into that newsroom. Um, you know, there's great people. Um, you, you're allowed to do, or were allowed to do, you know, incredible stories. Basically, when I worked the Religion Beat, um, they just left me alone. They just said, you know, go get good stories. And as long as I kept delivering um, them to to them to the editors, that they just didn't care what I did. Um, so there's a lot of freedom, and a lot of attention to detail and quality. Um, the last few years um, were just uh, dismal. Um, the the um, and I'm not. I, I think that it was ex- the um, the downfall was accelerated by Zell, or I know it was accelerated by Zell and his his debt and his uh, his animosity towards uh, journalists. Um, but I think it was inevitable that uh, the Times would be you know stripped away of its greatness just because of the market forces um, in the in the newspaper model. Um, and I, you know, I also at the times I also, you know, I, I felt like I found the truth for my personal life. I felt like I, you know, I went in there as this this evangelical Christian, and and I think um, because what I saw, it was it was kind of on, um, it, it was a uh, it, it rapidly developed what what I what I think was the truth, and I, I, that wouldn't have happened if I was uh, not there. Hmm. How many evangelical Christians were there among the reporters and editors? <laughs> not very many, not very many. You know, it's a fairly um, godless newsroom, and by godless I mean there, there's not a lot of people that attend um, 
services um, on a weekly basis, no matter what their faith is. Um, I think, uh, you know, I ran across a couple of evangelical Christians, but I always kept my faith on the down low um, because it was, um, I don't think it would have been uh, uh, reflected well on me in my career, so I always, uh, it's kind of sad for me, but because it was, um, I wasn't real bored on my sleeve, I was privy to sort of the comments that uh, people would have about, you know, evangelical Christians or people of faith in general, and they, they weren't always kind. Um, what was the ratio of kind to unkind comments about evangelical Christians from your peers? Um, I, I, you know, I think they're viewed as, um, for the most part, you know, the majority is, um, kind of, uh, you know, interesting or weird animals. Um, I think that understanding, I think it's gotten better over the years. People have gotten, um, you know, a little more sensitive, uh, to the fact that there there can be um, um, thoughtful, um, uh, normal people that are evangelical Christians, um, but I, but I do think that there is a um, um, a need jerk. I'll give you an example. Is is I um, one time um, my first time I covered the Harvest Crusade, which is um, this three day event on, um, in in um, Anaheim Stadium each summer. And the whole purpose of it is to bring some friends that aren't Christians and have them accept Jesus as their Savior. And I, and I wrote in the story that, um, that they accepted Jesus as, um, as their Savior, and it was uh, the copy desk just went crazy. You know, you can't write that. And I said, well, why not? That's what they did. No, no, you're saying Jesus is the Savior. I said, no, I'm not. I'm saying that. They accept. It's like you know. They went to the store. They accepted as a savior. No, no, no. It went. It went all the way up to the. I think the copy chief or the you know some somebody down because I wouldn't budge on it. And uh, they wanted to say that they 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 decided to believe in God or you know make it real vague. And so there's an uneasiness about it because I think it's foreign. Foreign. You know, it's not um it's not anything um uh what do I want to say? It's it's not anything that's that's vicious about it, or um, they're, they're like they're out to get them. I just don't think. I think there's an ignorance there. To what extent is that cultural disconnect that you just described responsible for the failure of the Los Angeles Times as a business model, as a business? Oh, I, I think very little. I think that um, I think if it was over the long term, it may it may have had a or over the long term it may have had a, an impact. It probably did have an impact, but I think that. Um, I think it's just the market forces. I think they they could have been, you know, an exact mirror of Southern California and California, and they would still be in the same basic spot there instead. Do you have any thoughts on how race is covered? I know your beat was religion, and religion's like one of those topics you're not supposed to discuss in polite company because it's a really sensitive topic, and people have strong feelings. And just as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking, well, I'm suddenly thinking of the one topic that's even more sensitive than religion mm-hmm. in, in polite uh, company and, and one topic that is even more scary to, to cover. Do you have any thoughts? You know, I don't. I really didn't, I didn't really get involved in that. I was uh, sort of on my own little, little island there. Mm-hmm. If I were to have asked you eight years ago why are you a Christian, what would you have said? I would say because I um, I had experienced um, uh, experienced Jesus in my heart that um, I had uh, prayed prayed for it and I felt Him come into my heart and then I would say that you know and then I that's backed up by you know my reading of Scripture and um, and other books that support that support that feeling. Yeah, that makes sense. So it was it was. Primarily an experiential thing. You experienced. It was. You know, I looked. Around, I was. Um, I was at. Uh, I noticed my uh, my friends that were Christian um, seemed um, at the time seemed to have a much happier life than I certainly was having. Um, but then a lot of um, then a lot of my friends, and so it was, it was sort of their um, their Christian walk as as it's displayed in everyday life. Uh, made me um, envious of them, and I thought maybe there's something to this. And uh, so then, 
then I found that the same kind of experience